Twenty-nine-year-old Anna Bowden is single and lives in a shared flat in North London. She's a freelance project manager in the city, and with her debts mounting, she's in desperate need of a money makeover. Anna can't start the day without a coffee, a grande problem that just won't go. I'm totally addicted to coffee. I love coffee. Coffee just gives me a huge surge in energy and then a massive low. So when I get my massive low, I, I'm like, right, I need to buy another one. Takeout coffees are at a huge expense. I could easily be spending, you know, 50 quid a week just on coffee. Easily, probably more, actually, yeah. She's spending money like it's going out of fashion, which probably explains the 50 skirts, 100 tops and 50 pairs of trousers. She just can't stop spending. I think it's a necessity. I think it's a compulsive disorder of some kind that she's picked up, actually. She has to buy something. All of this. All of it. And more. And more, even. <laughs> yeah. That's... £285. Bargain. I think it's impossible for Anna to buy one thing. She usually goes out for, let's say, a skirt, but she'll come back with three or four skirts. But most of all, she loves to eat out. Coconut mussels, as well as the... Was it the pink yeah. yeah. Are you all right with the Yeah, oh, yeah. Messier, the better. Especially when it comes to that lethal combination of seafood and champagne. <laughs> With her excessive spending and £15,000 worth of debt, Anna's dream of her own place is proving elusive. She spends money like water. I think she and should think... rein herself in a little bit because I worry that one day she'll just be living with loads of coats and bags and shoes <laughs> and no in a box. Yeah. <laughs> she'll be the most accessorised homeless person ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think she will, <laughs> definitely. Over the next four weeks, Benjamin and Jay want Anna to get her spending under control. As a wake-up call, they're starting with some shock tactics they're going to confront her with her biggest indulgences, starting on the seabed. Yeah. Hello, I'm Hiya. Jay. Hi, Hiya. Hi. Nice you. Hiya. Hello, Benjamin. Hello. Jay and Benjamin hope their plan will force Anna to realise just how much she squanders on little treats. Where are they? Come with me, Anna. I want to show you no. something. <gasps> oh, my God, what have you done? Sorry mm. we've ruined your duvet. That's lovely. <laughs> really, what this fish represents is the money that you are spending mm -hmm. going out. This is like if your dining out budget was translated to fresh fish. Yeah. This is based on you eating your favourite mm -hmm. seafood mm -hmm. and shellfish about mm -hmm. three times a week. Mm. How much do you think you're spending every year oh, on your favourite dinners? Hundreds and thousands, probably, yeah. Would you like to know the total? Go then. £5,760 <gasps> no no goes on shellfish. Mm, I think three times a week is a bit extreme, but I, I would have said probably like once a week. To be honest with you, I would have gone out and bought seafood maybe twice a week, but not three times. We've seen your bank statements and we've seen the money you've spent, yeah. so you can tell us it's two times a week if you like. Ah! We, know, we know where your money's going. You know going. the real truth. There's no point in lying. OK. <laughs> well, if that isn't enough, we've got another little surprise for you to show you in the kitchen. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Come on in. I, I think Come this is in. probably accurate, actually. Come on in. <laughs> it is shocking, but I would... Uh, you might notice that it's not just the table, cos we couldn't fit this oh. much coffee on one table. Now, this represents your <laughs> designer coffee intake yes. over one year. How much money do you think that costs? About a thousand or so. Coffee. Yeah. Okay. Let's try three thousand two hundred and eighty-five pounds <laughs> no! in one year on designer coffee. No, so it's quite no, a lot. No. Right, it's quite a lot yeah, of money because you do have a kettle. But if mm. you just bought one of these and kept the cup for the rest of the yeah. week, you could still go to work at the same time. Yeah. You could still have a cup of coffee. You yeah. could still be on the move, mm. and you'd be saving a bit of money. There are but how many you people do. do you know that do that? People who are in debt like you mm. who need yeah. to do something to stop things like this happening. I, I don't know, I just feel in a way justified by my coffee every day because it's my little treat. If it was your only treat, you could maybe justify it. Yeah. But from going through your statements, you yeah. do an awful lot yeah. of treating yourself to things that yeah. you can't really afford. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Also, here's the thing you've really got to think about. Coffee, you yeah. say it's just a couple of cups of coffee, but... Look around the room. Yeah. It's not a couple of cups it of coffee. It all adds up. It all adds up. Apparently I spend over £5,000 a year on seafood, which is just ridiculous. I also spend uh, £3,000 a year on coffee. And also, what bloody rip-off it is? All it is is hot water and, you know, a few beans. 